Hola, you amazing artist, and welcome to a new episode of Old Video Thing. In this video, Klee had joined a co-op gallery and after a few months started to realize that there was a little bit of a corporate hierarchy going on in the gallery. Early in his career, Rafi had joined a co-op gallery and eventually after about a year quit because he had noticed a corporate hierarchy in the gallery as well. Now this is not to say that all co-op galleries are bad news because they're not, but there are some things that need to be um, discussed when it comes to a co-op gallery and the way that they treat their members. So in this video, Rafi and Klee talk about that corporate hierarchy that can enter into a co-op gallery, which is a volunteer position. But uh, yeah, so take this video with a grain of salt. If you are part of a co-op, not all galleries are created equal, but this will give you some insight into things to look for when uh, joining a co-op gallery. All right, so without further ado, Here's Rafi and Klee! Yay! Rafi's Rambles! Rafi's Rambles! Rafi's Rambles! All right, so let's have a heart-to-heart. -heart. And I think what I wanted to talk to them about today was a conversation that we had earlier about being at the market, or not at the market, being at the gallery. The mentality of a lot of the people at the gallery where it's almost like a corporate hierarchy. Yeah, there is a bit of a hierarchy. Um, it's unspoken, but we're all supposed to be equal partners in this cooperative. And I'm seeing a little bit of lopsided something or other there. In so much as some of the people are pretty laid back and they understand that everybody contributes in their own way however they choose to, because they're their own people. And some of the people kind of are treating this like it's a corporate thing, and like some people are higher up, and some people are like supervisory positions, and then the grunts are like the new people. So like there's a little bit of trying to tell some of us what to do. Yeah, well you had the experience where they weren't telling you what to do they were telling my friday uh gallery sitter partner what to do yeah basically somebody came in and it was like so and so said that you need to vacuum, vacuum the third floor and my thing was okay well so and so noticed that the floor needed vacuuming why didn't they just vacuum it right yeah, then exactly. why did they tell my friend to vacuum the floor and they didn't ask like would one of you like to vacuum the floor they just straight up told him to do it yeah and I was like that's a little weird and that's where I have a big problem well before I talk about why I have a big problem with it tell them what happened when because uh, there was a girl being trained yeah so um my last gallery sit was my last day of training and they actually had me training someone on my last day of training which was confusing so like they're training me to train I don't know but it was kind of an intense day um, because the lady that's been training me she's intense yeah. she's very nice and I do enjoy her but she's very corporate in yeah. her ways so it was the end of the day and I was also supposed to be putting my collection in the display case and it got really close to five o'clock when I leave and I hadn't like finished putting my tags in there. And I was like, I need to put tags or I'm gonna have jewelry with no prices on it sitting there for a whole week. So I'm getting ready to do my tags. And she says, Klee, if you would like to, I'm gonna have you um, train Vilma on how to close out the drawer and count down for the end of the day. And I turned <laughs> and said, if it's all right, I would not like to because I still don't have tags on my items and I really want to get those done before five o'clock so I can leave. And she went, uh, yeah. are you in a hurry or something? And I went, uh, yeah, kinda. And then she said, okay. And I went about my business and then I kind of got some stink eye from her, I think. I think she was well, taken aback by it. Well, first of all, that response 
is inappropriate because the fact of the matter is that you are not getting paid. It is not your job. Right. You are volunteering your time. I'm not an employee. Exactly. So, and then I thought, well, if there's confrontation, like, am, is this going to get reported to the higher ups that like I refused to do this thing? And if so, what am I going to say? Yeah. And I came to the conclusion that what I'm going to say is there seems to be a bit of a misunderstanding here. I was under the impression that we were all equal partners who contribute in ways that we want to. For example, I noticed the showcase was dusty, so I cleaned it as I put my collection in. But I don't want to be told what to do. I haven't worked for anyone for over a decade, and the minute this feels like I work for someone, I'm out. Yeah. That's a very, very, that's something I take very strongly to heart. Yeah. I don't want to be told what to do. Yeah. If this is a situation where I'm going to be made to feel like I'm being told what to do all the time, I don't want that. This is to be a symbiotic relationship, not a corporate hierarchy relationship. Yeah, and absolutely, absolutely. And I would say that that, that is the one thing to watch out for with co-op galleries is, is it a bunch of artists getting together and we're all equal partners and we're going to come up with some great ideas on what to do and what shows to put together or is it a business that has a manager and supervisors Supervisor. and then the grunts that come in who are and they're made to vacuum and yeah. do the things yeah cuz so basically you have to dedicate 14 hours a month there and in my mind when i did the co-op thing eventually i started to realize like okay my i am paying way too much because my time needs to be dedicated to my business and what i do and how i create and i'm really not getting anything out of this experience other than me sitting in a gallery for four and a half hours every week mm -hmm. it just it didn't it didn't weigh out to my advan my advantage. Yeah. And especially when there are people that want to tell you what to do. Yeah, and time will tell how this plays out and whether I'm in a symbiotic relationship. And I know a lot of that's up to me and how willing I am to speak my mind. A lot of it is just in the details. How do you ask someone? Yeah. Do you say, the floor needs vacuuming upstairs. Could one of you guys please, if you have time, take care of it and then let us choose who among us has time? Or do you say, so-and-so said vacuum the floor? Yeah, and I think I think the, the same thing that happened when I was at uh, Blue Morning Gallery was that the majority of the artists that were there were cool and laid back, but there was a handful. All it takes is a handful of people that are in certain positions. Mm -hmm. The president of the gallery, and then you've the got director. the director, and then you've got this and you've got that, and they basically walk around treating everybody like an employee, when in fact, you don't get paid to be there. No. If anything, you're paying them to be there. And there is a lot of pressure to go the extra mile, to yeah. do the extra things. I've definitely had some pushing to like attend the extracurricular activities and so far I've been really good at standing my ground. Well even the lingo like uh, that one uh, artist decided to leave and somebody else was like you are such a good gallery worker. You are such a hard worker. Yeah such a hard worker in the gallery and it's like you guys are not working for the gallery like oh you're losing the point of what a co-op is supposed to be yeah i think something is being lost in the language that's being used yeah um an email went out recently which i thought was relevant about the jewelry artists um being really clear about what their earring hooks were made of and i agree with it but i'm i was reading over the email and the way that it's worded is really poor yeah like you're gonna get in trouble unless you do this yeah and, and it like... states clearly in such and such bylaws or whatever that blah 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 when it could have just been said hey guys could you please make sure you're clear about what your earring materials are yeah. so i don't know definitely um has been a good challenge for me in speaking my truth and standing my ground yeah and also treating everyone with the respect that I want. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You treat everybody the way that you want to be treated. Yeah. With love and respect. And if they won't do the same, then we're gonna have some sit downs. Yeah, I am actually quite excited to see where this adventure takes Klee and, and how she faces 
each one of those situations. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys are amazing. We totally amazing. love and adore you. Yeah, you guys are... Our hearts. Yeah. So, adios. Goodbye.